So today here on GeekSmart, we're doing a desk setup. This is a height adjustable desk from InMaker. This is actually just the frame, and then you can add whatever top you want to it. So today we're gonna actually do the setup of this desk and uh, get it all prepped and everything. I do have a butcher board top that I purchased at a local hardware store for a hundred bucks. Um, it's four feet by 25 inches deep, so a decent sized desk, not too crazy. You should be able to use a larger top on this as well, but where I'm putting this desk, I don't wanna to go too much bigger than that because it's gonna get in the way. This is our second desk. We actually already have a height adjustable desk and we love it. So I'm really looking forward to checking this guy out and seeing how the setup goes on the InMaker height adjustable desk. Okay guys, welcome back to GeekSmart. And I am getting this guy open first. Everything's out of the box. I'm gonna get all the boxing stuff out of the way. Now, hardware all comes in these bags that are lettered. There's only one bag that isn't, and that's this one. Um, we'll see if maybe those are extras or what, but uh, we'll come back to that. You can see everything else is pretty easily distinguished. Have all the, uh, definitely the feet here, the desk um, pieces, the obviously the motorized legs. Everything is here. We should be good to go. Then there's the, uh, control piece over there set off to the side oh yeah power adapter did have that in that little box too let me set that over here now it did include an allen wrench as well it is a ball ended allen wrench so that'll be nice makes it pretty easy and we are going to step uh go step by step through these instructions so each step of the way is what it is so this first one looks like it's going to be the I don't know if they have a name for them, but just the pieces that actually hold the top. We're going to mount those to these cross arms um, on on here. That's going to mount to this, and that's going to use this guy. Actually, both of those and both of these. And we're going to need it looks like a four, four of the A screws. So there we go. This is going to be a lot of stepping through as fast as I can, I guess. We'll see how she goes. I didn't even see this, kind of rolled off to the side, but there is a screwdriver that you can, Phillips in flat, goes from the end, but also does it from the T. Pretty cool. That's a nice little tool. I gotta say something, for a tool that comes with a desk as a freebie, this is actually pretty cool. So it's got a little collar on it. Obviously like you saw the um, flat head on one side of Phillips on the other. But the cool thing is, you hold this back and then you put it there and it locks in place. I hold it and I can go deeper. So I can make this a short screwdriver or a long screwdriver. That is cool for a free tool. It's also ratcheting. Or solid. That's a cool free tool. I'm just lining it up like the pictures in the instructions and then the A screws. Now we're going to be putting the motorized arms and attaching that to this guy here. Seeing exactly how that goes in will be my next step. Okay, so there's the screws right, the holes right in there and right there. And we have to go upside down. That's why it's not making sense. Okay, so there we go. And there we go. That's what we needed to do. And we actually we need to face the other direction. All right, so long points towards the wall. That way we're doing this right. All right, this guy goes in here like so, and we're gonna be using the uh, C4 screws, so four of the C size. So it actually says four of them, so there's two out here, two on the outside, and then eight of them, two, 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 two. So that's gonna probably be all of the C screws, or at least close to it. So I'm gonna do this off camera, because it's, it's better just to not watch me put all these screws in, but two here, two here, two in the very end, and then the same thing goes on the other side, so um, 12 screws total. I'm gonna stop real quick just to show you, so I'm kind of, once you get a couple of them in there and it's kind of rigid, you can get it up, at least up, and make it easier to get the screws in place. So, makes it a little bit smoother. I still have the two on the end to do. All those are done. Now I will say, put all six screws in loosely, 
and then tighten them all down. Otherwise, you may have a hard time getting any of the, our specific screws in. So I'm just gonna say that. Now, we have to connect these two pieces together and uh, that's where these long boys come in. Now you can see that it's uh, there's an arrow that says this point toward the top and this in this side with the uh, writing towards the inside. So we're gonna go this down like this, so towards the top and then towards inwards right there. So that's gonna go in the far side one. And then same thing this towards the top inwards. Like so. So that's that there. Now uh, we are going to need B8. Eight of the B screws, which let's find the B screws. So we've got the B screws here, but I wanted to see. So there's this first tick on each side, it looks like 120 centimeters or 47 inches. So that's you know, that's going out from the center point. One tick that way, one tick that way. Let's see what it actually says. It's a 43 inch top. So 47 inch, I mean, so 43 inch from outside leg to outside leg. So if I go to 47 inches, so it must be what's showing. I'm gonna go to that second tick on both of them, a little bit closer. Okay, that's all the B screws in place. Okay, step four is the feet. And so, uh, the feet are longer on one side than the other. You're just going to match the top. So if you can see back here, shorter on this side, longer on that side. So we're going to stick the feet out like that. And then this is going to use the last eight of the C variety screw. Now I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'll be right back and we'll finish this foot up. Step five is going to be the adjustable feet. Uh, looks like they actually have a rubber gasket on there right? to keep the threads probably from... Thing. We'll put those on both of these and then I'll do the other side after this. Okay, so now we're at the top uh, point where we have to basically attach to the top. So I have my four foot by 25 inch butcher, bo uh, butcher block countertop is what we're using. Inch and a half thick, so nice and thick. And we're gonna take the desk, set it right on there. I have the, what I want is the top of the desk on setting on the floor. So now I apologize for stepping in front, but we're just gonna set this on top here. Now I have a, uh, it, let, me, let me get a different camera angle. Now we are going to be using the D screws. So they are just wood screws. Uh, looks like three quarters to one inch screws. So I got those here, I'm gonna set that here. I am gonna use my handy 12 volt, actually te technically 10 volt, uh, drill rather than using the hand one that came with it, but if you don't have access to a drill, this is more than adequate. And now I want to actually get it centered on here. So I do have my tape measure. I'm going to go around checking, uh, basically getting it as centered on here as possible. Now, if you don't want it going all the way out to the edge like I have it, you could bring that into the next step in, um, which I'm, I'm assuming that's what they kind of have it set for, but I'd rather have the legs as wide apart as possible. So this is what I'm gonna go with. Okay, so I use my tape measure, uh, basically to check these, the sections on both sides, equidistant all the way around. Um, you know, don't worry about like, from this side to the edge of the table is a little bit different from the front, but th that can actually be bowed once we actually start getting started. But, Okay, I'm gonna get the other side done and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have that all done. Next is gonna be the control mechanism, which has all the pieces for it. So obviously all the control board for us to do. This is where each of the motors plugs into and then uh, power as well. So there's the DC power plug. I'm gonna get rid of this. There we go. So I'm gonna keep that off to the side for now. But this guy, we're gonna mount up here. Um, exposed, but not too exposed, and probably closer to the edge of the desk. And for that, we are going to use, uh, looks like E screws. Yep, there's two of them, so that would be right. So I got those. Let me uh, figure out exactly where I'm gonna put it, and then we'll put it on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here. Now you can, there is about, you know, some area to move this. 
And you can always, it's just wood screws in the, into wood, so you can always move it if necessary. And I probably want to do that by hand. Now once we flip this over, we might want to push that out or bring it in a little bit. That's fine. Now for step eight, we're plugging everything into the controller, including, so there's this extension. So, and the reason they don't put the extension on is if you put your control mechanism over on the other leg, this one's not gonna need the extension the other leg would. So they just give you an extension cable. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that into this one because this is gonna be the, the leg that's furthest away from the control mechanism. Then power, get the power out. And uh, I just need the power part of it, right? And uh, now we can actually make, start making connections. So. Power is going to go in here. I'm going to plug my furthest away leg on this one and my closest leg. Not that it matters, but that way I know which one's plugged in. The one that's closest to this leg is the one that's going to that leg. Now we have these adhesive uh, straps that we are going to stick and actually strap these so they're not hanging down and uh, we can dress the cable. Okay, so that was step eight and nine. Now, we gotta flip it over and check it out. All right, so we're gonna get this flipped over. I'm sorry if you get a shot of me, my behind, but I'm gonna slowly work it towards the edge here. Actually, not gonna wanna do that because I'm gonna hit the control board. There we go. Okay, dokie. Well, there we go. Control board looks pretty good. Get this thing powered up quick. Uh, it looks like I'm gonna have to change that up, but that's all right, I'll do that later. Okay, so to start, we have to reset everything. So you long press the down button for three seconds. ASR. So now we should be reset. See how high she goes up. I would say plenty high. Holy high. 119, I'm assuming that's centimeters. We still have, actually to be honest, it's pretty stable even at that height. It's not, I mean, it does wobble a little bit, but let's uh, try these uh, presets. So sitting preset goes down to 80. Let's see what that looks like. And of course we can reset, we can set them to whatever we want them to be. So that's 80. Looks a little high for me, but that's gonna get adjusted. Let's find out exactly how to adjust that. So let's say we wanted to go down to 76. Let's press and hold this. And now that should be 76. So let me, let's, let's raise it back up. And then hit seated position and it's going to go to 76. That works exactly like you want it to work. So if you're keeping tallying on everything I still have this special bonus this bag of screws which yeah I think these are definitely extras just in case you lose something and then we have these J rivets uh, screw rivets and I think that's for this if I saw that on the uh, instruction manual right um, this is a spot where you can put items. You hang it, it actually uh, attaches to the desk. Oh, and I hit that, I apologize. Bumped it with my pocket. Um, so this is where those screw rivets go on the side of the desk. And then you have little pockets, organizers for uh, some goodies. So that is the complete setup of the InMaker standing desk. Now, of course, this is a standing desk frame that I added my own top to, but as you can see, a simple butcher block countertop is all you need. Now you can get these butcher block countertops already pre-finished in whatever color you can find. Um, Lowe's has a whole bunch of them. This I got from Menards, unfinished. So we're just gonna put a clear lacquer on it eventually here. And, uh, and we're gonna go from that, but pretty easy setup. I still have to put power down here. So this power cord is not gonna look like, like it does right now. Uh, that's just for testing purposes, but there it is. There's the full setup of the InMaker 
staining test. Pretty easy, not too terribly difficult. Just takes a little time, specifically getting the legs attached to the upper part. Uh, just takes time to get those six screws lined up good and then nice and tight. Otherwise, the rest of it went pretty smooth, pretty fast. And uh, yeah, I have plenty of cable organizers, adhesive cord cable organizers that I can use um, when I'm running cables for the desk stuff. But uh, that is it. Pretty easy, pretty slick. And uh, yeah, I will have a full review of this coming up um, where I'll go over everything, all the features and stuff. This is more about the setup. But as you can see, working fine. Thanks for watching to the end of this video. And uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Come on back for any more videos that we do here on GeekSmart for setups and tutorials and such. And head over to TechCooch if you want to see some reviews. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.